So today we got a package that came in and I have been teasing my Instagram followers that a package will be arriving soon and yesterday it was stuck in Vaughn which is about a 10 minute drive for me and I wanted to pick it up so bad FedEx would not let me do it so I teased it on my Instagram. Today we got it. This big boy is going to be opened on camera just as promised on Instagram. <laughs> Oh my god, this is kind of overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. This box is too big, let's get rid of the box. I'm gonna lay everything down on the table and I'm gonna show you guys one by one what we got, what we have inside these bags. And I'm gonna tell you what's uh, the separate bags for. We're gonna be doing the two big bags last because they are pretty massive. So we're gonna start small, go big. I'm gonna lay them out on the table. Before we get to this first item, I do wanna give a huge shout out to SpeedQB uh, for sending these over. You guys are the first guys to actually overwhelm me with stuff here. Not because of the amount of stuff, but because of the packaging of how premium these products feel already. The packaging, the marketing, everything is, is Mwah. Oh my god, I love these look. I don't even want to throw these bags away, but let's get started. So the first item that we do have are the Proton Mag Pouch Inserts. This is how they come. I've got two of them, they're for pistols. You do get like some Molly Quick Strips with it. You get two of them right here. They just split apart. So you can 100% just stick them in an insert and close them up. But for anybody that wants to use the Molly Straps for it, you put it on your belt, anything like that and you don't want it coming off of you during game, this would be the way to do it. So I do have two of those that came in the box. So I've got four uh, pistol pouches in total. Let's get on to the next one. This one's actually pretty jokes. Uh, we do have the number nine. As many of you guys know on my team, my number for my team is number nine. Pineapple, that there is a nine in that. So that's awesome. Uh, and the thing about this is actually glow in the dark, which is sweet. All right, so we do have a couple more patches that came in the box. I'm going to show you guys it one by one. Very tiny. You know what? Let's just slap that on right now. I don't know how this goes. Whatever. Moving on to the next one of the small packages. We do have the SpeedGB Hanger uh, Laser Cut Velcro. This is something that I've actually always wanted something like this. I'm really glad that SpeedQB had something like this. So what this is for is, for instance, if you want to have your gloves hanging around you, you don't want to put it in your pockets. Uh, this is supposed to be meant for right here. You're supposed to cover it up and you know, your gloves can just hang off there. You can even just do it underneath. Oh, I don't want to hit, I don't want to hit the mic over here, but have it in underneath, expose just the buckle. And then you can let your gloves just sit there. It'll hang. We're going to take this off because I'm going to be putting it on the setup that we have in the boxes. But this is how it looks like. All right, so we're pretty much done with the small packages. We're going to be going to the somewhat medium packages. And then we'll get to the two bags that are in the boxes. Up next, we have, I believe these are the Proton Mag Pouch inserts. Excuse the mic if it's picking up all of these uh, plastic sounds. These are their new versions of their inserts. How the hell do I open this thing? Hello? Oh, that's how you do it. So just like the pistol mag pouches, these do come with uh, the molly straps. You've got two of them again. Uh, to be quite fair, I feel like it should have came with three, uh, only because there are three molly straps, but it's still okay. You can have one at the very ends. It should be fine at the very ends. It's not going anywhere. Just the middle ones will have to be Velcroed down. That is, that is it. These are their mag inserts for M4s. Uh, these are the new Proton inserts. I do have their old inserts. The old inserts don't have any, um, I would say, support in the inserts. These ones actually do have a support. I'm gonna throw a little picture up there of uh, you know what they did to the new one. But let's go grab a mag. Let's go put one in here. I'm not gonna you know do it the right way. I'm just gonna slap this on right here, and. Honestly, it's really, really tight. Yeah, no, that's that's really, really tight. Obviously, I would not run it outside here. I will have it inside, tucked in, and then 
strapped around so it's not you know wobbling on me i'm actually quite impressed with these inserts the whatever they put inside of them feels like top-notch quality these you cannot go wrong you know this can go on your belt setup this can go on your chest rig your plate carrier uh, we're gonna be putting all this together all right so up next i'm actually pretty excited about this one because i do have the gen ones uh, this is the ncr uh, quick strip now they're old quick strips here i'm gonna grab it for you right here um, these are what they look like. I had two of them. I used them for a bit. Or if you guys don't know is if you have a, let's say an M4 and then you have an MP5 loadout, you would grab your NCR quick strip. Well, let's say with the loadout of your choice, let's say M4 for now, take it and then you'll just stick it on there and you're ready to play with an M4 setup. Let's say next game, you didn't have time to set up your whole kit for an MP5 loadout and let's say your team wants you to play with an MP5, easy. You would have the MP5 loadout on the other quick strip. You take this part out, grab your MP5 loadout, bang, all done. You, you don't have to do it on your chest rig, you can do it on your belt setup as well. I'm gonna show you guys the new one compared to the old one. This is the new one. They are a lot slimmer, a lot lighter than the old version. As you guys can tell, um, this one's a little bit bulky, which is, this is the older one. This is the newer one. This is how they would look like side by side. The difference here that I feel is that the Molly seems to be rubberized. To be honest, that probably would make it a little bit more durable than the nylon stitching that they had on the old, older ones. So I did read up on this. It is a rubberized laser cut material to strengthen the durability of these mollies just by pulling on this it there's no it's not ripping or anything because what i'm worried about is these cuts that are like diagonal going down and if you just pull up i'm afraid that would rip it doesn't seem to be tearing at all um, but you're gonna be having some stuff on here so that, that shouldn't even be a problem they do include like some sort of <laughs> i don't i don't know what that would be but it, it, it definitely looks more modern uh, than the older ones. I still love their first gen, but their second gen would definitely look a lot more sleek from what I'm about to show you that are in those two bags. What we have next are the bigger packages from the ones that come in a plastic bag, and then we'll get to the two bags. Oh no, do I have to cut this? I really don't want to cut the pack. Oh, never mind, Bro, see it like, I'm telling you bro like these packages are so nice if you're a company out there and you're watching this video just take SpeedQB as an example I was actually blown away by their packaging their marketing and it feels good to open these up it's not like you're just opening up a random plastic bag with some bubble wrap this feels premium when opening it up so up next we do have the NCR hybrid pouch hybrid bra, 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 bra. <laughs> so we do have the NCR hybrid pouch essentially it's the same thing as what I have on right here this is just their Gen 2. So as you guys could tell from the Gen 1, so this is a fabric material on the Gen 1. On the Gen 2, it's a bit different. It's uh, it's more rubberized. It actually feels like good here. I'm gonna let you guys hear this. There is two ways you could put this. You could have it like how I have it with the, you know, dangler's pouch at the bottom right here, or you could have the NCR Extendo pouch at the bottom and you'll have this part on top. So they do have these buckles. Mind you, you could do the exact same thing with the Gen 1s. These buckles are for the straps right here. I don't want to hit the mic, but essentially what it would look like is you would have this on the top, this on the bottom. So this is the NCR Extendo pouch. These two things right here is exactly what I have on right now, except these are the newer ones. This is the older generation. It almost looks identical to their Gen 1, except for the rubberized uh, material that they use, which feels a lot stronger, more flexibility. Actually, you know what, it's pretty firm. <laughs> so this is just like my Gen 1s, where you would have two slots to have your pistols, your M4s, or just your M4s and something else on top, which I'm gonna show you guys later. Um, they're pretty spacious. You could definitely fit a four M4 mag pouch up here, a four or five uh, pistol down here. You know what, while we have these two open on the table right now, I'm gonna open up the next one because it does go with the NCR Extendo. All right, so this is the EXO drop top pouch from SpeedQB. I am really excited to use this. Essentially what this is for and why I want it really, really bad 
is because every time I'm in a game, I've got nowhere to put my phone that's safe. I can't even put it on my danglers because, you know, some BBs could, you know, people are shooting hot sometimes. I don't want my phone to break in there, but this will 100% secure my phone, all my belongings, my keys, um, in this little pouch. You would open the back portion of that extendo. So this is a bit tricky to put together. What I used was I used the inserts that they, uh, they provided in there, the little foam. Um, put it on one side so the Velcro doesn't get stuck. You could drop it in just like that. Velcro the other side, take this off, Velcro this side. So now, instead of me having my M4s at the back and my pistols in the fronts, usually I would never do that anyway. I would just have one M4 row. And if I really, really needed to switch to something else, again, I would use the NCR quick strips. Uh, this is mainly just for like an M4 setup or an MP7 setup, uh, MP5, something like that. And the pouches that I would have would go just in the front right here. Those are where the inserts would be. And then the back would be an extra layer of protection for my phone, you know, for my keys. Um, this is pretty big. Like I can fit my whole hand in there. And when you have your mags in the front right here, your phone is protected. This is great. I love this. Is there any extra pockets in here? There's no extra pockets. Doesn't matter. So this would be my next chest rig setup. We're going to put it together later. I think it's time to get to those big bags. First and foremost, these string bags. Wow. Beautiful presentation. It feels packed. I'm excited. Let's pull something out. First up, we have the Nucleus chest rig. It is a lot different from what I have actually. Oh my goodness. These are a lot bigger. Um, you know what? Hold on. Come on. These are their old ones. Um, yes, I know. I am supposed to have uh, you know, them hooked up over here and then I get it. Okay, I just like it because of the padding that it had. Um, but these are a lot different. First of all, they're a lot bigger again they've they've went with the rubberized material in the back if i were to put these together kind of side by side you can see just it is a little bit different it's a little bit taller and bigger let's see how the pouches look inside or the zippers This one is definitely a little bit bigger. Uh, the only differences I see with their old versions compared to their new ones is their old versions, once you open it up, it does have their logo stamped right there, which was actually a nice touch. Um, in the new one, they don't have that for the people that care. Personally, I don't care. I will never put anything in here. Uh, and yes, I could have tossed my phone in here and it would have been safe there. The only thing is that part gets really, really sweaty and I don't want sweat to seep through to my phone. So I will give you guys my final thoughts on this once we do a couple of B-roll shots and putting this thing together. Let's get to the next one. Oh, this one's a thick boy. You know what? Let's go with the small one first. Anything else in here? This is a nice string bag. I'm, I'm not gonna count. This is, this is hella nice. All right, so first we do have a shirt and an extra large because I'm a thick boy. Ooh, it was premium. Oh, it's a long tee as well. Oh, well, hold on. Is this too big? <laughs> I think it's too big. Yeah, damn. I'm, uh, am I this big? I feel like I'm a bit smaller. It fits. Man, I need to work out. This shirt feels premium. It feels breathable. I would 100% rock this outside show some love to speak qb all right so let's get on to the next one this one is a sweater <sighs> hurt my feelings again Ooh, ooh, that is nice so we do have the reflective logo for the speed qb in the front in the back there is nothing just plain uh you've got i've seen it here somewhere on one of the cuffs you've got the speed qb so I will definitely be using this outdoor when it's colder season. Man, they even got some pockets. <laughs> Yo. Where the f*** the hole? Oh, that's f***ing tough! So I've got this uh, NB tactical mask that I've always uh, wanted to use for outdoor. Oh, brother, that is 
perfect. It covers my nose. This really has a nice retention. And I know they probably didn't make this for this, but I'm gonna use it for this. Uh, they probably made this for like the winter, the colder seasons, you know, to keep your face warm. This, <laughs> oh my God, it's so clutch. I love this. Let's get on to the next one, but I'm gonna take this off for now because it's 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 really hot, but this is tough. This, oh, this was tough. All right, so the first one, it appears to be a cummerband. Just your a normal cummerband. It appears to look exactly the same one as uh, as the one that was on my chest rig earlier. Uh, I guess the only difference is uh, I, I don't know if it's just newer, um, but the whatever they put in here, it's a lot more firm, more sturdy. The other one was a bit flexible. I do like that it's firmer. Let's get on to. Oh, there was something else that's a, a bit smaller in these. I didn't I didn't see them. So this is meant for the next product that we're going to be looking at. This is nice. <laughs> this is really nice. I have been dying to get my hands on one of these. The only reason why is it's a lot slimmer, uh, a lower profile than other plate carriers out there. Let's put this together. It doesn't have the cummerbund yet. We got it. Let's put it together. This is the APC APK adapter for their plate carrier. So inside we do have something that's, uh, it looks like it's for HPA. Uh, I'll open it up in just a bit, but what it is is basically just a guide for your host to go through if you're running HPA that day. So it's actually quite weird. I haven't really seen much videos on their plate carrier on YouTube. There's not many videos of it other than their advertisement video for the plate carrier itself. Now this attachment piece I've seen on their website and I was really, really interested in it uh, because I don't trust just having a bag Velcroed on the back. I would like some sort of Molly system to actually secure the bag if the Velcro fails. So what we need to do is we need to take these two apart. It's very easy, it's just Velcro. We'll set the front part aside. So how you put this on is you would slip this on at the back and you're gonna make sure that the straps on the right side, left side go through and poke out. All right, so once we add the adapter in there, mind you, it's going to be a pain in the ass just because you're dealing with Velcro. So what I did, I literally just stuck my hand in there, pulled one side down till it was flush, stick my hand on the other side, pulled the other side till it was flush. So after that, what you're gonna do is you're going to fold the bottom part. Fold it, grab your cummerbund, and we're gonna make sure that it's nice and centered, and you're gonna fold the flaps back down. You turn this guy around and there will be a velcro right here which holds your plates inside there your foam whatever it is so just if you guys were interested the foams that they have um they're very very soft it could, you could definitely still feel a bb when it hits you it's not hard at all it's more of like a memory foam feeling i love this i i don't like that it's super hard i don't like that it's super soft i like the fact that it just feels like memory foam they've got their own speed qb logo just at the very bottom right there Okay, so now that we've opened up the bottom portion of it, this little flap would go in the inside of that. And that would secure your adapter and this plate carrier. Now you can slap on anything with a molly um, from the sides obviously, but also it would support from the Velcro as well. So I do wanna point out that this is just a plate carrier. You're gonna need to have some sort of molly system to go on here. Where is that NCR? Where did I put that thing? Now I completely lost it. It's not the back. Oh my god. god. You could use the old quick strips or the new one. So what that would look like with the older ones is if you have the older ones. Honestly, it's not bad. It's not straight either, so it doesn't look good. So just picture M4 slots right here. Rip them off. You can grab the new one. I don't know if it's this way. Or this way, we're just gonna go like this. Honestly, the new ones look so much cleaner. They feel so much better. But let's get to the B-roll shots.
So my final thoughts on the plate carrier and the chest rig, I thought I would like the danglers on top. I didn't. That's why it took me a, a little while to put everything together. You guys won't know it because I'll just cut everything. Um, but it did take me a while to put everything together. I put it on top, did not like it. So I put it back how I originally had it as my first build. So that is how I'm going to be keeping it. That is what you guys see with the B-roll shots. Um, I am really, really excited for the plate carrier, actually. Um, it, it feels so great. It doesn't even feel like it's there. It's such a low profile. As we make more videos, especially gameplay-wise, you guys will be seeing uh, the plate carrier on me. You'll get, you guys will be seeing the chest rig. SpeedQB, thank you again so much. Uh, the package was very overwhelming. I am very happy with it. I cannot wait to run these in a few games, especially the plate carrier. I've had my eye on this for quite some time. Thank you so much for working with me on this. Uh, you guys are phenomenal. All right, boys, I am out. I am tired. I'm still sick. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. I don't even think my girl's seen this yet. Oh, peace. Babe! What? You see my new drip? What? My new drip! Check it, check it, check it. I gotta clean everything now. Oh my god, such a mess. Am I still recording? Oh yeah, right. Beep.